we're going to do a problem with intervals. X is less than 3, which is read X is less than or to the left of 3. Another thing that's said often is X is strictly less than 3. In other words, 3 is not included in the interval. Notice there's no underline of the inequality sign. So we're going to use a parenthesis and not a bracket. And also notice that the sign is pointing to the left. Well, that means our arrow, when we graph, will be pointing to the left. And that will always be true. You can always easily tell which way to draw your arrow when you write the variable, the letter, on the left. When you write it on the right, it can be more of a problem. Definitely, it's easier to write your letter on the left. OK, let's graph this. I'll be using a parenthesis through 3, and then an arrow going off to the left. The variable is on the left of the inequality sign. The inequality sign points to the left, so the arrow will point to the left. The strict inequalities that don't have the line underneath always take parentheses. Now, the accompanying interval notation is going to look very much like the graph. Parenthesis, negative infinity, comma 3, parenthesis. Always look at your graph to see which numbers are on the left and which are on the right, or which symbols.